Hi, I'm Judy with HarmonicLivingNow.com and welcome to the Monday Morning Shift. I want to talk to you today about trauma, a traumatic event or experience or time in your life that you've either not moved through at all or worked with at all, or what I really want to touch on today is you, you have done a lot of work around it, maybe years of therapy, maybe years of, maybe you've even tried tapping, and you think that you're through it. You think that you're all, this is all just in the past, and you're rolling along fine, and then bam, it bites you right in the butt again. And you're wondering, what the heck happened? I thought I dealt with this over and over again. And yet, it's still there. There's something still there that we hang on to. And trust me, I know. I just experienced it myself where I had to do some really, really deep investigating as to where is this incredible sense of sadness coming from over the holidays, right? The holidays are here. And I realized it was directly related to a past traumatic event in my life that I have done a ton of personal development work around, a ton of it, and swore I was through it. And yet, there are these certain triggers that bring it up and open up that wound as if it was yesterday, and I just don't get it. I'm talking about the kind of trauma that brings you to your knees, that brings you to the ground, strips you away of everything you believed yourself to be. The kind of trauma where you're left thinking, I don't even know who I am anymore. Have you ever experienced that? So what we're going to do is do some tapping, specifically for those of you who have experienced a traumatic event or time in your life and you've done a whole lot of work around it, and you've done, you've come so far with it, and yet there's still that bite every once in a while, and you're just left wondering, what the heck? So join me, please, side of the hand, and repeat after me. And if there's anything I'm saying that you don't resonate with, you will get some benefits, but just throw your own words in there anyway. The, the whole point of this is to really acknowledge what you're feeling. Don't get so good at covering it up that it just stays there lying just under the surface waiting for that next, next trigger to open it wide open for you, okay? Okay, side of the hand. Even though I've done a lot of work around this trauma, I still feel horrible about it from time to time. I'm just gonna honor it that today. Even though I've done a ton of work around this trauma, I still feel really bad from time to time. I can even slip back into being extremely wounded about it, as if it was yesterday. I don't understand why. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm still feeling it in my body, when certain things trigger those memories, I'm taken right back there again. I'm honoring myself and I love myself anyway. Let's go to the eyebrow point. This event in my life was huge. It stripped me down to nothing. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything I believed myself to be was completely gone. I felt insignificant to the world and to myself. I felt all alone. Like no one could ever understand the pain I was in. And the truth is, 
I still feel that sometimes. I still feel alone in this. And that just tells me I'm not done working on this. I still have pain in there. I still feel it with every ounce of my body. So wounded. It was so traumatic. And I was left so broken to pick up the pieces all alone. And I'm still picking up the pieces after all this time. I just want to acknowledge that and honor that. I've been through a lot. And I live through it. And I survived and I've thrived. I'm still here. I can feel good about me because of that. I just want to acknowledge that all of this pain that I feel from time to time particularly feeling alone in it. Is okay. It's okay to feel that way. Of course I feel alone. Nobody else ever went through what I went through. Not the way I went through it. Why wouldn't I feel alone about that? I just want to acknowledge that. I just want to acknowledge that now. And honor that. Honor the pain that has been protecting me all these years. I'm going to honor the pain. I'm going to honor myself. Because I'm here. And I didn't let it get me. It tripped me up for maybe a, quite a few years. But it didn't destroy me. I can be really, really proud of myself for that. Thank you, pain. Thank you, sadness. I want to thank this feeling of loneliness because it's kept me feeling safe. It's kept me from really, truly moving forward. Safe from that risk of something like that happening again. I honor that and I thank all of my emotions for trying to protect me. But I've got this now. I'm okay. I don't need to feel this isolation anymore or the sadness or the justification or the judgment or the self-criticism. I don't need any of that anymore. It's okay to let this go. I give myself permission to let this go. I give my body permission to release all of these negative 
disempowering emotions that were connected, that are connected to an event or a time in my life that happened so long ago. I'm releasing those now. There are better ways for me to feel safe. And one of the biggest, most empowering ways is to love myself exactly as I am. I choose now to release all of those negative emotions connected with this past traumatic event. And if I see any of them show up again, I'm just going to acknowledge them, do some tapping, and allow them to leave. Thank you for joining me today. I love putting these videos out for you. If there's anything that you'd like for me to address in one of my future videos, please let me know in the comment box below or on my website, www.harmoniclivingnow.com. You may also get a free EFT tapping book signing up for my newsletter if you haven't already. Thank you for joining me once again, and I will see you again next week. Until then, you guys, go out there and make it your own. Mm -hmm.